Hello and welcome to episode 52 of The Gamer's Advocate. I'm one of your hosts, Adam Bankhurst. I got alongside me the wonderful Bill Roberts. Yes, sir. And some would say my younger clone, or better self, my brother, Andrew Bankhurst. Hello, Hello everyone. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you on the show. It's so exciting. Thank That's you. Awesome. It's been you're a long time you're coming. A little, you're a little prettier than Jack. Not quite, but your head isn't as shiny, I would say. Should I start rubbing my forehead? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, Jack is off saving the world and doing some other stuff, so we had to think of someone to fill in his, you know, wonderful shoes. So we thought of the wonderful Andrew who's been talking about coming on the show for a long time. But I missed Andrew. I haven't <laughs> seen him in forever. It's so good to have him. It's, yeah. good, to be, nice it's good to be here. <laughs> Oh, well, that's awesome. Well, we're um, you know, we're a weekly gaming show, and but we really talk about everything that's going on in the world and all the fun stuff. And if you want to be a part of the show, always remember that you can send an email to podcast at thegamersadvocate dot com. And we guys, we got our first email this week. Whoa! <laughs> the nice. wonderful Adrian sent in a question that we'll get to later, but yeah, it's uh, it's always fun to have that and add some little flair to the show. Adam kept this as a secret too. He didn't tell us, Adrian. I know it's a see. It's better. You get the the real raw reactions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> the horseball reactions, if someone some would say. <laughs> We've oh been boy. looking at the horseball pictures and comparing <laughs> those again, just because oh. we can't stop. Oh my God! So Andrew, tell tell the listeners a little bit about yourself. Are you a gamer at all? Do you? What else have you been up to? What's what's going on in the wonderful life of Andrew? Well. I am would call myself the farthest thing from a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I got all the gaming genes, um, I guess. Yeah, Adam stole all of them. Sorry. Um, he liked Star Fox. I did. I, I grew up playing Star Fox and, and things like that, and I loved uh, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong, all the Nintendos of the world. Um, Just like me. I did have little flare-ups. I loved Halo when it came out, and I loved uh, Call of Duty, World at War. Oh, my God. Um, Modern Warfare zombies. 2, that's right when I went to college and everyone was playing it, and that was fun, but... Besides that, I did get the, uh, and I'm probably going to mess this up, the <laughs> SNES. Is that what, what, is that what I got? Yeah, the, SNES Classic. Yeah, the new, the cool you know remake. Oh, yeah. And I've been playing uh, Mario for probably, what, a year now? And I still <laughs> yeah, have not beat so. it. I always check it. I'm, I'm like, terrible. have you beat it yet? Aren't you stuck at Bowser's Castle? Or yes, something I'm like at Bowser's one? Castle, and every time I turn it on, I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> and I turn it right off. Oh, my gosh. I make it about five minutes. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I love the game. I know it's great. My wife's really good at it dead instantly <laughs> yeah. it is it can be tough I, that's for sure it's, it's i mean it's it's not the hardest game but there's some challenges in, especially in that in that <laughs> those final levels my wife had a little dig in there it's yeah. not the hardest game but, uh, <laughs> it's not the hardest game you just suck you guys, at life you guys suck at it so <laughs> my wife and i tried to make a uh well isn't that fun to say i'm a i'm a newlywed it's I weird know. to say wife oh but, my god hercules um, hercules we even had a little cheat code where we would do the two player and she kept going back to like level two where it's so easy to add up lives. Oh, yeah. Doesn't Get those one-ups. <laughs> like seven hours later, I'm still dying in the first second of uh, Bowser's Castle. Have you considered letting Henry try your dog? Because he may have a little better chance at it. I think it. he would do a lot better. He is a genius. I have a blind dog, and he would do better than me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Bill is, Bill, we were talking about our pets earlier, and Bill was talking about how his dog's a little blind and his cats just terrorize him all day long. <laughs> That's the do. funniest thing ever. I'm just picturing this poor little puppy. <laughs> they ambush him. <laughs> <laughs> Did I show you guys? I think I send it to adam i took a picture of my dog henry speaking of him and it looks exactly like the little characters in star fox when <laughs> yeah, they pop up you in the did send that. <laughs> oh my god we're gonna have to post that yes dude, you, got it. you have to that is a little talking head yeah, little little oh my uh, frog god. that pops up <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's so funny uh, that's great so but you you were your your big one was star fox 64 right and then 64 yeah. so you remember that one and uh-huh. doing all that kind of stuff yeah and flying fun. through the the stars or whatever and avoiding <laughs> all the asteroids yeah oh my god yeah, we he, we should get him to try Starlink, that new game. I get to I be Star Fox. I, I still haven't really played it, it either. <laughs> I'm probably gonna offend Adam here, but I think I lost my interest in gaming when I used to play uh, Zelda. Yeah, and that you would just walk around aimlessly for like seven hours, and I couldn't find anything to do. <laughs> and I knew I just wasn't doing it right, but I was like, "What is the point of this?" <laughs> save it. Just, save it. Do, 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 at I least he have, knows that song. I could have games that I've played for 10 years, and he could be like instantly, oh, you just got to do this, and he'll know exactly how to do it. <laughs> I'm out. It's so funny. I like. I don't really consider myself great at games. Like, I'm never really, like, the best player to game, but I know the games very well. Like, Fortnite and all these other games, I'm, I'm pretty awful. Like, sometimes I have some good luck, but, like, I, I, I know how to figure games out. That's my claim to fame. Am I, I the only say. millennial that hasn't played Fortnite? <laughs> It's no, nope. it's getting close. <laughs> Wait, am I too old to be a millennial? I might be too old what? to be a millennial. Uh, Wait, was it millennial technically? What? when oh, it forty or younger? Yeah, I think it's either forty or younger or something like I'm that. Safe, fairly <laughs> 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 safe. Safe, but oh my god, I'm so glad you said millennial because we're about to get the best topic ever. But sorry, Wait, wait, wait. one last thing. He can tell you. 
he could tell me what I'm doing wrong in a game or what's the right way to get it. And I'll be like, oh, did you beat it? He's like, oh, I never played it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I have never oh played the God. game, but yeah, I know what to do. Sounds about right. Well, I'm yeah. telling you, that's like, it's funny. I mean, writing for IGN and, you know, staying on top of all that stuff, I feel like I know more about games than I actually play games now. It's very sad. <laughs> like, I I have to be up on everything even if I don't play them, which is which is depressing, but me life's too, responsibilities, but it sucks. because of work. I'll throw my last bit of game here. I was very excited and had a lot of fun when uh, that scary game came out. La- was it last year when I came over to your house? Where you put the virtual Resident reality mask? Oh, yeah. Resident Resident Evil. Evil. That oh was awesome. God. That was the best. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, my God. I love watching people's reactions to the first part when Mia kind of uh, changes. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> early on. And you're going down the stairs, and then it's just like it's so on. And next thing you know, just all hell breaks loose. oh man well we'll get to some crazy playstation news later but yeah they they celebrated their the five-year anniversary since the ps4 came out and they the playstation was asking what are your favorite ps4 memories and stuff and playstation or resident evil 7 in vr is probably one of my favorite not even just playstation but gaming memories that is that was just one of the coolest things i've ever done in my life <laughs> and thank god i had like you and other people there because i wouldn't be able to do that by myself just having you guys in my ear that's <laughs> like, right that was awesome we were uh, voice chatting and um I was watching you play it on yours. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it was great. And I think I was, I was listening to Bill watch Adam. <laughs> oh, that's right. Technology is great. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, and then I forget somebody told Betsy to scare me while I was playing. Yeah. Was that you? Yeah. yeah. I forgot. Oh, my God. That was the scariest moment of my life. Yeah. And that's why I don't have VR because my wife's already told me she's like, every chance I get. If oh, you, yeah. if I see you with that, that's always the on, problem. I will, I will totally terrorize you. That's, that's why I'm excited for AR. I think that's a little more practical, but I don't know. If you can, lock your, it's like augmented reality. Where, like, let's say you put on glasses and you'll see, like, a tower in the room, but it's, like, in the real world. So it's not like you're completely in another oh. place. It's overlaying other stuff where you're actually, where you are or something. So, like, we can transform this whole table into, like, a world map with waterfalls and mountains and stuff. And you can move pieces around and do stuff. No, that, that's, that's not going to cool. cause any injuries. <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> Definitely at all. Not. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds safe. So, so safe. But Imagine yeah, so. drinking and doing that. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my God. But yeah, Andrew, Andrew brought up a good idea that we need to do a gamer's advocate at night where we just come and, like, have some drinks and play games and just record ourselves. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and I will join for that one. Yes. I know. It's yes. Good. That was yes. Hopefully, awesome. Jack might eat an onion again. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> or a dragonfly. I swear, Jack. has <laughs> eaten some of the weirdest things ever. We literally... A candle. We found the, a candle, yes. We Sorry, f- Jack. <laughs> <laughs> we found... I think it was like maybe five or six years ago, maybe even longer, but it was like this monster dragonfly that was, has probably been dead for a while. And we like brought it inside. And for some reason, Jack thought it was a good idea to just bite it. And like all the guts came flying oh. out. I was like, what are you doing, sir? The guts were coming out or it was leaking. It had been dead a week. It was leaking. We named oh. him El Diablo. We did. Then we thought maybe that's too harsh. Let's just call him Todd. <laughs> Todd's and, uh, even worse. Yeah. And oh, I'll never forget it. Cause we were working together and I had a, I get a phone call right before he did it, and I'm on the phone just like yeah 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 you want stuff yeah 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 yeah, yeah I gotta go, <laughs> and uh, I can hear in the other room everyone like oh. <laughs> I, really I, did it. I, it was one of those things where you could you felt the crunch like you weren't actually oh. doing it but like you felt it in your bones i was like oh my god that ooh. this thing was leaking this orangish green <laughs> stuff already it had been it was huge it wasn't this little teeny tiny thing it was huge Ugh. but he didn't get sick which i'm very surprised about but well nah, i think it's still affecting him <laughs> probably <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. That's probably why he's in here today. He's probably, like, pollinating a whole colony of dragonflies. <laughs> he's half dragonfly. For all you listeners out there, if you ever want to get Jack going, just email him and uh, ask him about Happy Meals. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> he will defend them to the death. <laughs> you get well, apple I... slices. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they, get, they have Pokemon toys now, too. Come on. You can't oh my beat God. it. Happy Meals. And Speedway Pizza. That's another good oh, one. No. <laughs> you can't defend that. You cannot defend that. Jack. 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 We love you, you cannot Jack. defend Speedway pizza. <laughs> Have you ever noticed the smell that stays on you after you go into a Speedway? Yeah, <laughs> even it's for the one pizza. second. Oh my god, it's the pizza. <laughs> I will. I, I don't know. I just can't, can't get over like those hot dogs that are just spinning on that Ugh. little container for probably years. <laughs> it's like you know, you know, like the gumball machines that have gumballs. You're like, how long have those been there? Like. Uh, the the hot dogs may have been there longer. <laughs> it's very true. It's it's people that have been drinking. Yeah, they yeah. go in there and they're just like, I don't Ooh, hot dog. Yeah. screw it. <laughs> I'll take. I'm gonna throw up later anyway. Oh my god! I'm gonna botch this, but that's like the Lewis Black special where he's always saying that uh, 
they only made one batch of candy corn like 400 oh, years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the little elves come out for like Halloween like, and keep going digging through the trash oh and rebag them. <laughs> no one ever eats them. <laughs> That's the best. Have you guys seen? There was a video that and, and I'm sure it's an old one, but they of people putting candy corn together to make it look like a corn on the cob. Like yeah. it actually oh, looks yeah, like yeah. Corn. Uh-huh. I, It like blew my mind. I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. You know, a good little thing to do with that is to do that and build it like a corn on the cob yeah. and then throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have some fun. Out. You know, I actually don't like, mind candy corn. It's I mean, like I've got to admit. The Jenga of trash candy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> trash candy. I actually don't mind candy corn. I'm not going to lie. It's okay. You know what oh, is boy. not good though? Candy corn M&Ms. Those are Disgusting. Why would you even try that? What, I have to try everything. That's true. I also, oh, you know how I tried, they have a new lemonade, Sour Patch Kids. Oh. And I tried them, of course. And every time I tried them, I was like, Ugh! and then I kept going. I was like, Ugh! and they never got better. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how we came from the same mother. Candy corn M&Ms. Yeah, that, I mean, they try everything. It's crazy. How, how stoned was somebody during that sales pitch? <laughs> how fun would it be to work at one of these places, though, and be the people that are just like, oh, what so can we fun. make? Because they probably have the craziest thing, like dragonfly M&Ms and horseball <laughs> M&Ms. <for> <laughs> yeah. Speedway pizza. <laughs> Frozen horseball M&Ms. Yeah, I mean, just, just walk in like, all right, guys, all right, guys, all right, guys. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you have like pizza rolls. Uh, it's like that, but uh, Skittles. <laughs> I would, in fact, eat pizza roll Skittles. Oh I will tell God. you that. That's I amazing. would before I'd have candy corn M&M's. <laughs> yeah. well, well, you know, why don't they have, like, pizza gum, flavored gum? Because that's it. disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I went to a can, uh, candle <laughs> shop once, and oh, they had God, a pizza sorry. shop candle. It was uh, disgusting. Oh my God. Pizza gum. They'd be like, oh, we'll get some oil sticks to go with it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. That's so funny. But I think, you know, sometimes you just like the taste of things, but you don't want the calories. There's got to be a solution to it. <laughs> Do you remember when the first, uh, this was probably, what, 2010, when the first, uh, was it Lay's that had the flavor competitions? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they came out, and people were, like, like ravaging through Walmart and fighting <laughs> yes. each other to get it. Oh, my God. We got some of them when I worked at Nash. Dude, I don't know if you were there when we tried some of them. Some of them there were was some, I'm not others. sure. There were some really good ones. I forget now what I'm, which ones were good, but there were some pretty good ones. I remember trying the chicken and waffles. And sriracha I was like, ones. I was trying good. to be all like, oh, these are good. So you, you, <laughs> yeah. don't, you don't want those, right? <laughs> Let me try it again. Yeah, these are Three terrible. hours later. I'm going to take them home. <laughs> throw them out. Oh, my God. What about, yeah, what about, um, I'm trying to think what else there's been. I'm, I'm, I was trying to think of the, my favorite Lay's flavor. They had the sriracha one. They had, like, a Korean barbecue one. They had some tacos. They had different things. But I always like when companies do I mean, you know, it's a, it's a bunch of hit or miss, but sometimes you get some good ones. Ugh. As long as it's not cucumber kale. Oh, geez. <laughs> I would not be surprised. <laughs> Let's see. What are we saying? I ate all 19 Lay's Crazy Contest flavors, so Ooh, you don't have to. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Not all heroes wear capes. Crispy taco. Say that, taco. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Everything bagel with cream cheese. That's that's mm, good. That's probably good. Yeah, if you're you not, get, you already have the salty flavor. If you're not sober, it's that's like sour cream and onion fantastic. with a little more salt. Like you know, you can do it. It's a breakfast. Chip. I'm Jewish, and even that makes me sick. <laughs> we're supposed I'm to like love the bagels. fish chips. That's oh. a one. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, wavy fried green tomatoes. No thanks. Fried I don't know. Tomatoes are an underrated food. I don't no, know if it's tomatoes because are the devil. That's why they're red. Oh, even green about, ones are the devil. I love your story of. Uh, uh, when you went to Taco the Bell, Taco and, Bell drive-through. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what's the story? Let us let everybody know. Okay. It's my favorite. One of my favorites. <laughs> Me, uh, I'll do the quick version. Um, roommates and I were not as sober as you normally are <laughs> when you're sober. Everyone's like that at Taco Bell, right? And we decided to do a late night run down through Taco Bell. And uh, the last couple times through there, I always ask for no tomatoes. I hate tomatoes, and they screwed up and put tomatoes on it. So I'm as nice as I can be through the drive-through. I'm like, hey, can you please double check and make sure there's no tomatoes? Um, I, t- I even said I'm allergic to them. I'm not, but I just said I'm like trying to get them to get it right because you know it was all, you know, not sober and wanted a good burrito. <laughs> Nothing wrong so with that. So the guy's kind of a little cocky, which tipped me off. He was just like, "Sure, buddy, no tomatoes, got it." And it's like, "All right, that's not good." Oh, jeez. So we get up and as soon as we pull up. I'm like, "We got to check." Open this burrito up. It is loaded. <laughs> oh it is God. loaded with tomatoes. They dumped a shit ton of tomatoes on it. So I was like, Mm-mm, "Nope." Go back around. Went back around to the drive-thru. The guy was dumb enough to open the window. He should have known better. Yeah, really. I had the tom- the burrito still open, and I said, I said no fucking tomatoes, and I threw it at him in there. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Hit him with it, and we left. and went to Burger King. <laughs> and guess what? No tomatoes on what? I got a Burger King. <laughs> it's like the episode of The Office. 
<laughs> oh, it was. <laughs> Dwight throws the milkshake at him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> My roommates were laughing hysterically. I was still so mad that it wasn't even funny till like way that later. That is crazy. Way later than it was funny to me, too. Yeah. But at the time, I was so pissed because it clearly did it on purpose. You say that's serious. Like, what if you were allergic to tomatoes? Like, that would have been really bad. <laughs> he didn't care. Oh, yeah. But, you know, he clearly was not concerned about getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Is he still there? Let's go find him. But I'm sure he's concerned about having to change. <laughs> that's probably true. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a. Bill's got probably some of the best stories. It's, we need to yes. have like a Bill story time hour or something. <laughs> so, I guess. So, Andrew, besides, so I know since you're not a big gamer, what what do you what do you like doing for fun? What's what are your hobbies and interests? Uh? Um, making fun of Hugh Jackson. Yes, <laughs> I am unfortunately an avid Cleveland sports fan. Yeah, and buddy. I should narrow that down to the Indians and uh, <laughs> Browns. Sorry, Cavs. Don't. Hey, we're not we're not going to lose this week, so that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty true. good odds. I never really. Even really liked the Cavs when LeBron was here. I just had to put on the fake fan. I'm like, oh, yeah, go Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland. I just find basketball to be very boring, and I think the NBA is ruined with these super teams. Yeah. And it's not fun to put together these awesome teams, then you go against someone like the Warriors where there's like 75 yeah. All-Stars. It's oh, just, my God. When you know the outcome before yeah. you, the Dude, playoffs. Did you see all the Draymond start? Green stuff going on? <laughs> that was yeah, so and funny. It, 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 it's to make idiot. it worse is they know, like you know they know that they're on some monster team, and they still have like the – Nerve to be like all cocky and oh yeah, it's like oh we win every year. Well, obviously, <laughs> it's like what right. do you think? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, besides that, I like uh, I'm excited to be on my first podcast because I love podcasts. Oh, you've never done one before? I've never done one. I knew that. That was just for the radio. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Way to blow the illusion. It's by it's it's breaking the fourth wall and behind yeah. behind the baseball. What I never can I remember this thing. Padded walls. <laughs> Inside baseball. That's it. Not behind yes. the baseball. That's the <laughs> catcher. Maybe I don't even know. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, that's about it. I'm pretty much just uh, a obsessed man. with my little Shih Tzu that I got back in uh, Aww, Henry back Dude, this great dogs too. And his name's Henry Hank. Uh, <laughs> love him. That's pretty much all I do is just go out, and then I'm like, I want to go home and play with him. So then I go back, and I'm this big burly hairy guy with a little Shih Tzu. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, f- I get I get funny looks every day oh when my I walk. God. That's so funny. I do too. And then in, uh, it's usually because of the no pants, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Oh my God, that's a uh, well, that's pretty awesome. Well, we really appreciate you coming on the show yeah, and yeah, all that wonderful stuff. I missed you. I've seen you forever. I know. I missed you too. I know. We all used to work together, which was yes. nice. And now yes. we're all off on different sides of the continent, uh, a- a.k.a. Columbus. Well, yeah. It <laughs> seems big, like one. North America's a big one, so we'll go with that. <laughs> but yeah, Bill, what have you been up to? Anything exciting? Or? I was peeing a lot. Oh, how about Siv? Siv's out. <laughs> yes. On the Switch. <laughs> He's I holding have it right it now. with me here. I don't really know why I brought it. Because it's... Not like there's any multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, I know. Does it live up to your expectations? But, um, yeah, there's still a, there was a couple things that I'm where the controls are just it, once I figure it out, it's fine. So I'm trying to resist the urge of just doing the easy touch controls. Oh, okay. Because I want to get it figured out. Because I know after playing it on here, it's going to come to the other consoles. I know it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't see why. Is what this is. civilization we're talking about? Yes. Nice. Andy. And it, but it is a full fledged Civ game. On a handheld. And it looks good? Still. It, it looks sharp. Um, handheld and dock mode, pretty much? as or? good as... Well, I, yeah. I got it on a pretty good PC, so... Well, yeah, but... But, yeah, no, it's it, it's it's a battery killer, but uh, you kind of assume that going in you know, yeah. a game like that, but... How have you played like a full match yet? Have you got to like the end game stuff and see how it holds no, up? Or? No, that's my one little worry is that turns. But, but so no, far, but no really like on. no no hiccups or no like technical issues really that you're noticing. Nope, I got a little frustrated a couple times trying to figure out how to do certain things like um, with the with the uh, builders and like trying to buy stuff with gold instead of uh, you know just building it. Yeah, and like just little details of of navigating. But it's not that they're bad. It just it takes time because I'm used to playing it on the mouse and keyboard now. Gotcha. So I have to relearn it. Nice, nice. But uh, no, it looks sharp. And so far, like in between turns is just as quick as it is on the PC so far. That's awesome. So you know me. That's going to be my <laughs> go-to. I know I'm worried about like because I read a lot too, so I'm worried about well, screw you books. <laughs> well, I, I just think I think Civ on the Switch is so perfect because with the you know you can just put it to sleep and then bring it right back up to do a few more rounds and put it down and stuff. It's that's what makes that system so great. I wish it was a little easier to turn the actual power off on this, and because I'll turn it off and then I'll put it in the dock and it comes back on again, and I'm like, you, oh, bastard. oh, gotcha. I wonder if there's a setting to make it so it doesn't auto turn on. I don't know. I tried throwing it. Yeah, usually I don't put mine in the dock unless I'm actually using the dock, so it might be. I haven't really played with that too much. Is I this quit. the one that the little controllers come off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The switch. Yeah, even though Bill's got his little case on, but yeah, the Joy Cons pop off, and then you can play them and do all that kind of stuff. I only know that 
thanks to a uh, shout out to our little brother Jordan. Hey, you suck. what up, Jordan? Not you, Jordan. I was calling this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Shout out to Jordan. You suck. <laughs> I was calling this case a little son of a bitch, and right after he said, "Shout out to Jordan." I'm like, yeah, the Switch, Andrew. The Switch is probably I, I've said this on the podcast a few times. Probably my favorite console of all time. Really? Yeah. It's just it just works, and it is just amazing. Boop. So a little history of Adam. That's me. For uh, all you listeners out there, Adam was so dedicated to gaming growing up. Um, this reminded me when he said my favorite console of all time. <laughs> He used to walk around to all of my, uh, to our parents and our grandparents and call himself Adam Dreamcast because <laughs> he wanted it so bad when it came out. Well, they'd, they'd be like, Adam, what do you want to do today? He'd be like, Adam Dreamcast. <laughs> and of course, he had it like five minutes later. That's usually how I roll. <laughs> Guess what, Adam? I mean, it's, I had to live I up to my never namesake. I call you anything else. Oh my God, Bill's playing live. I've never played this thing with the controllers detached until just now. It's pretty nice. Hey, you can play with the Pokeball it's controller. It's even got the little controller. How about from the, the Pokeball? Side? Pokeball what, Plus? What's this one do? It's to sync. It sings? To, <laughs> to sync the controller. What song? Uh, Baba Yetu from Civilization <laughs> yes. 4. Baba Yetu Yetu Lie. If you guys have not heard Baba Yetu from Civilization 4, look that up right now. It's one of the best yes. songs ever. I even know that song. Yeah. It, it's it is, it's Yetu, so good. Yetu, Yetu, Yetu. I, the first time I heard it, I was like, that's definitely Pantera. <laughs> but then I listened to it again. I was like, no, that is not. It's Christopher Tin. Thank you very much. There it is. Do you ever wish that you could be the one, be someone in the choir of the Halo song? Yes. In the oh my God. I wonder what those like. I'd be the out of key guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a uh, that would be cool to be a part of that such iconic song. I wonder how many people were actually part of that choir that did the original track of that. That'd be interesting. It's like three, and they just looped it. I think Halo actually is celebrating. It's like fifteenth or seventeenth anniversary or something. It's been out, it's been around for so long. Great game. Oh yeah, so good. Did you play all of them or just the original? Uh, how many are there? There's five, and then there's Probably a couple not. spinoffs and stuff. Oh, but I have the one on the Xbox I got. Master Chief. That I won at your... Uh, oh, yeah, Master Chief Collection. Yeah, yeah that, that, like, that includes the all new, the old uh-huh. ones. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's cool. Hey, Norwegian Empire. I loved hitting those little stupid monkeys with the back of your rifle. <laughs> Whatever those things are. <laughs> yeah, the grunts are... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. They're that great when they get scared. But, Bill, the real question, and I think what everyone wants to know, is how is Pokemon... You need to oh. get a full breakdown of your favorite game <laughs> series, some game you've been waiting for for years and years on end. Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Pika, Eevee. Pika, Pika, Pikachu. So which, first of all, which one did you choose? Uh, Pikachu. Okay, there we go. So let me explain. To those of you that are not the Pokemon expert that I am, Pokemon is a first-person shooter. Uh, it's top-down, and um, all the characters are topless. <laughs> and what the goal is to... Um, beat them to death with bananas now <laughs> oh, you have Lord. to find the banana you don't just get a banana in pokemon you have to find them and you have to catch them and if you catch all of them it's called a bunch <laughs> and then you go around and you beat diddy kong and um samus 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 sure sure Pumbi? either one uh Pumbi's in it <laughs> and um then do, it do the changes, bananas have different powers then it changes magically into a tabletop board game wow and when you get tired of that you just flip the board right back to first person shooter that's Dude. what I played. How about you? That, wow. I mean, I, I mean, I, you know, sometimes people say it's hard to get into Pokemon. I get it now. I mean, I've never had it explained like that, but that was pretty good. But <laughs> see, look. How, how did Nintendo let that through their their uh, testing and everything? Because they're supposed to be kid friendly people. Well, they don't have big boobs, <laughs> it, so it's you don't you're not. It's a lot of Nintendo. You're not sure if it's a dude or not. Oh so, my god. So you know it's okay it's, either it's, way. It's all good. There's it's no, all ju- PG. no judgment there. It's all it's all good. <laughs> well, thank you for that wonderful <laughs> explanation of Pokemon. But yeah, that's a uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu did come out yesterday, and it's a remake of the original Pokemon, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. And it, did you ever play Pokemon? You played it like a little bit, didn't you, Andrew? I think so. On my Game Boy? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. I used to watch the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Love it. They actually they, they released a gameplay trailer, like a release trailer, and they put the old anime theme song over it. It was really cool. It was a really cool trailer. But, yeah, they it came out. I started playing it yesterday, and I actually got the Pokeball Plus that I have right now. And it's like a little Pokeball. You can actually control the whole game with it. I mean, it's got buttons on it, and you can play the whole thing and then you can throw it it's got motion controls it's actually really cool if you had two of them you'd have a set of balls this is very true <laughs> but it just it's such a nostalgia trip i mean the, it, i feel it looks great it kind of because you know when you go back and play games your, your mind always remembers the games better than they actually were not necessarily better but like in a different way like if you played a a game on playstation nowadays you'd think oh my god this game looks so good but if you went back and played it you'd be like 
what <laughs> that's what it looked like because your mind always kind of makes it look like the best version of what it is so seeing the original region canto and you know full hd graphics and seeing everything kind of brought up to speed and having little pikachu all around you and playing it's it's so much fun i love it well i got news for you once you get to a certain age your mind doesn't remember shit <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool if you could forget and just play things over again are you at that point yet pretty close i can read i can read a book and then a month later it'd be like ask me how it ends it'd be like hmm i have no idea no no clue i could uh, never I get in it, though i could never get into reading because i read a page and by the time i get to the end i forgot what i already read <laughs> i'm getting there you know what's a very tough question what did you do yesterday that's that, that 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 a very tough very question because <laughs> i'm just like you know what what did you do yesterday bill I watched a deer poop outside of my window <laughs> at work. That's important. I have like, never seen huh. that. I, it was my I first just time. had to think about it. <laughs> I feel like Bill's Snow White at work. He has like all these animals coming up to him. Oh, and stuff. yeah. He's yeah, got, I get, uh, well, we'll talk about Dirty Pig I again. know, poor Dirty Pig. R.I.P. Oh, that's so sad. He was a good man. Are there any other groundhogs, or has he been the only one that you pretty much see around? There's another one. He's a little farther away, but, uh, but yeah, it's uh, but no, I, I'm very much enjoying Pokemon, and it's it, it feels just really, really great. And I've, I've only played maybe, I don't know, an hour or so of it. Oh, is that Dirty Pig? Oh, that's the deer. Yeah, I <laughs> oh see this gosh. stuff outside my that's window pretty all the cool. time. Oh, I, I saw this guy driving in a truck downtown, and I saw, like, antlers pe- like peering out of the truck bed, and it was just a <laughs> dead deer just in his truck bed. Oh, yeah, people eat roadkill. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. There's a lot of roadkill around where I am. That's ridiculous. Oh, I actually, this is the season. That's true. I was actually walking Ori a, a few days ago. And through the blind forest, <laughs> through the blind forest, and he, uh, it was like four in the morning, and we were walking. And I heard this like rustling behind me, and I literally thought I was dead. <laughs> I, like turned around, and it was a, it was just a giant eagle shopping bag. Oh god! <laughs> he was like, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I literally was like, my life's over. Can you imagine if you were walking through the forest late at night, and the Halo theme song just <laughs> oh came on? Oh my god, that would be so epic! I had to get <laughs> flipped off by a tree frog. How's Whoa. that? How is there a tree frog? Where well, is your office? Yeah, are you in the like Costa Rica it's in, or something? It's in an industrial park in Gahanna, <laughs> but there's woods like right by there. Well, it's Ghana's like I'm, Africa. There's probably jungles. <laughs> Close enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> I do have a good view, I got to say, for now anyway. Oh, my God. Well, that's amazing. What, yeah. what was the original system or whatever that Pokemon came out on? Was it Game Boy? Game Boy, yeah. Yeah, I think it was 96 or 97 or 98, one of the two. It was Pokemon Red and Blue once it came over from Japan when they had Pokemon Red and Green. So, I don't know anything about Pokemon. I don't know if <laughs> well, your explanation was pretty good. Anyone listening might have caught on to that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was a pretty, no, was a good, was a pretty a, good, good explanation. Will you teach me? Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm going to throw this out to you and to Jack we could and do Julie. Like, we could do a whole series of teaching Bill to play Pokemon. Yeah, I want to learn it. It's that, way, that way, if I do make fun of it, it'll be because I know what I'm talking about finally. Yeah, that's true. Well, you know, this is a good place to jump on because it's a, it's kind of mixed with Pokemon Go. Where you don't have oh. you don't have battles with the Pokemon, you just are catching them, and then you have trainer battles, and it's you know it's a little easier. You're just trying to catch them and raise your team, and every time you catch a Pokemon or do battle, you get experience, and they raise levels, they learn new moves, they evolve into new Pokemon. It's just like it's got that thing of, of a collecting a team and building your perfect team. <laughs> stupid. It's like um, an RPG. No, I'm kidding. I'm yeah, just no, kidding. No, I, don't, I don't know. I don't make fun of it because I think it's stupid. I just make fun of the fact that I have no clue. Yeah. I, I really don't. I'm making fun of myself, not the game. It's really good. It's Do you know what world I hated? What's that? The world when Pokemon Go just came out. <laughs> and the whole world turned into zombies walking <laughs> yeah. around oh the parks God. and the streets. Dude, that was so cool. I get it. It was so cool seeing everybody Debatable. doing that. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's, you know, it was it was weird seeing all that. But I've, I've like, never seen... A, the oh, world react to a game like that. Even our dad was walking around catching Pokemon. I know. Like, what is like going on? Montenegro flying all over the place. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's that's the power of it, man. Yeah, it's uh I don't know. It's it was it was just cool seeing the whole world come together for something like that. Yeah. Like it was fair and point. It's still making a ton of money. It's crazy. I mean it's it's really cool. Bill, all you need to know about Pokemon is that Weezing is the best character. <laughs> Weezing? Yes. Wait, isn't that from the Jeffersons? <laughs> he evolves from Basically. coughing. Yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, it's a uh, well, what's cool about Pokemon Let's Go, which is so brilliant by Nintendo, is it integrates with Pokemon Go. So you can transfer Pokemon you've caught in Pokemon Go back and forth. You can get a Pokemon that you can only get by importing him from Pokemon Go and catching him there. So there's a lot of the integration. And you have to think about it. You know, Nintendo is so smart with it because <laughs> the nice bill is just... Ouch. Um, in Pokemon Go, you know, there's millions of people that play Pokemon Go, especially people who haven't gotten a Switch yet or haven't played video games in a while. But now that they have Pokemon Go, whenever they log in, they'll see, hey, there's a brand new Pokemon game that connects with Pokemon Go. 
So people are going to be like, huh, maybe I'll give that a shot, especially with the holidays coming out. It's just, it's a really smart marketing play. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. If you had to explain to someone what wheezing was, what would you say? <laughs> He is, is he cannonball. I would, I would say he's like a under, you know, like an underwater mine. It kind of looks like a mine that has gas spewing out of little holes in his body. Sounds like and then he's connected. He's connected by like I've another seen little. This before, in the mirror today, <laughs> he's a big ball connected by another little ball, and they have yep. like really sad faces. And they go, hundred percent accurate. <laughs> so yeah, if you look up Bill Roberts, just Google it. You'll get yeah. a good picture. Well, it's an honor to meet you, Weezing. Yeah, thanks, everybody. <laughs> uh, I've not gotten any royalties, so. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I've, uh, I, I've really, that's really most of what I've been playing. I played a little more Diablo, a little more Red Dead. I started Fallout 76, which is really good. It's it's basically what I played at the Alpha, so I don't really have any new impressions yet. But I did find the radio station, and there are some good songs, and that makes it all the better. Okay, let me ask you this. If you hadn't bought it yet, and you walked in and you were like, to buy it or not buy it, would you buy it again right now? No, oh, yeah, you know? for sure. Are you lying? Not at all. You sure? Yep. All right. <laughs> What's well, this game? So Fallout is basically, the. have you heard of the series at all, Fallout at all? I've heard the name. Yeah, so it's so Fallout 76, it's basically what happens is there's a nuclear, like nuclear war, and everyone goes into bunkers. And then after however many years, they come out. But society was kind of stuck in the 50s, sort of, when it happened. So when you come out, there's all this old technology and there's old music playing all over the place. And you go around and fight all these mutated creatures and try and find out what happened to America and try to bring back everything. And you go to uh, one of the games took place in Washington, D.C. One of them took place in Boston. This one takes place in West Virginia. And you're trying to just kind of yeah. make things happen. So Fallout 76 is the first multiplayer one where you could actually play with other players. And there's a lot of people, th- there's mixed reactions. I mean, I think people like it, but they're also saying it feels very lonely because it, the integration with multiplayer isn't, they haven't quite figured it out yet. But it, it feels like Fallout. It feels really good. And A lot of people in West Virginia feel lonely. Yeah, I know. That's true. <laughs> I do not want to see Fallout West Virginia. <laughs> it's actually beautiful. It's it's like, <laughs> probably the, look the same. It's, it's in the, Don't it's drop the, anything. It's the hills of Appalachia in, the, in autumn, so all the leaves are changing and stuff. It's actually, it really does look good. But the best part about that game is you can play a radio like because you have this thing called a pip boy which is like a computer on your arm and you can play radio stations and it's music like i said from like the 40s or 50s oh. so while you're it's it's uh, it's one of the coolest things i think in gaming where there's this crazy evil cruel world that has you know has been destroyed billions of people are dead everything's happening and you're hearing this song about do 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 it's like all this happy music it's so good. Are there commercials on the radio stations? Uh, no commercials. Sometimes there'll be like a radio host or something that'll you ready come for and a talk throwback. That. Yeah, that'll be worth the apocalypse about, right there. What about the radio stations in Grand Theft Auto? Oh yeah. Yes. Did they start that? That's all technically else? not a throwback because Grand Theft Auto is still well, real big. But were they the first <laughs> game to do that? Where like you um, go around driving the car and flip radio stations? That's a good question. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think if uh, no, none of the taxi drivers had that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, because Crazy Wait, Taxi had, Crazy Taxi taxi Driver. It, it had, I don't know <laughs> if you could change movie. the radio station, but yeah, that's that's a good question. <laughs> that's the, I mean, that's always... I just think music Simpsons music in a game is so underrated. But, that, you know, this is the biggest problem with having this kind of music because, you know, you remember the Tony Hawk games, the skateboarding games? Yes. Um, it's They can't really... When they when they re- try to re-release them, it's very hard because when they do that, they have to not only get the rights from, you know, the company that made it, they have to get the rights from every artist and everybody mm. to say, hey, we're releasing this again. Can we use the rights? Because usually only buy the rights to a song for either a game or for a certain amount of time or things like that. There's been, there's been cases of games being taken off the PlayStation or Xbox store because they have music that needs to be taken off. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's you, sad, but it, I, you know, I get it in a sense. Do you think uh, future games will include clauses when they purchase those rights that future if they re-release it they can still use it i, I guess that, yeah that would i would be smart i would, I would mean, like i would like to think so it's just pay like, a little more up front the licensing and rights world is so crazy i mean especially you know in youtube and things if you're using a a song from somebody else you can get claimed so they'll take your video down and the, the algorithms are even still if the company says it's okay sometimes you'll still get taken down because it's not perfect yet it's just it's it's a very messy messy I, thing i know i've been in independent bands trying to release oh, music yeah, and, yeah. and putting stuff uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's interesting it's crazy but yeah that's man Grand Theft Auto I, I just I, I Andrew one of my favorite Andrew memories is I just know every time in Grand Theft Auto he just sprints to the airport <laughs> try and get a plane and just fly it all over that's it's, my favorite part <laughs> that is always that is always the best my wife and I used to play it we would take turns doing missions and then once we were kind of getting ready to quit we would just be like, all right, so you can get the most stars before they die. Oh, yeah, or the sure. highest one in level oh. before you die and just go on 
just mass murder oh, sprees. I love the cheat codes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the best. It was good family fun. It was. Clean family fun, if you will. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Red Dead doesn't have a star system, does it? It's like more mm-hmm. just the laws coming after you or they're not kind of. No, but I keep. Well, you get a bounty and things. I but. keep starting. All right. Here's a new one. You know the in the first town, that Valentine town? Yeah. You know you can go into the hotel and like get a bath or buy a room? Yeah. Well, the first time I went in there was after I got into a fight. And he was like, oh, we don't want any trouble. And I was like, no, we're good. And I paid for it. Everything's cool. Got a bath, cleaned up. Went back in the, <laughs> the other day. And he was like, hey, howdy, partner. I hit the wrong button. Instantly pulled out a gun, shot him, and killed him. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to. And then all of a sudden, wanted level, and everyone's oh I'm running God. to my horse to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> I, that's a, I haven't played, turned it back on since then. I just like oh turned it off because I had to leave anyway. Dude, that, that, so see, I have no idea if I'm going to still be on the run. Or probably. What. Uh, see, this that's the problem with this is. I mean, I love Red Dead. I'm having such a great time with it. But that's the problem. I mean, the, the controls. Like this, a similar situation happened to me too. Where remember I was telling that story I think last week or two weeks ago about how I was going down the path and there wasn't a GPS, so I kept making the wrong turn and it would just reset my <laughs> mission and I would just die because i mean i get they're trying to tell a story but i was doing that mission in valentine where it's not really spoilers but you're pr- trying to save one of your gang members from somebody and you go in and you're you get into a fist fight so i went into the you know the the whole room and everything and was punching him i had landed a beautiful punch and i pressed the r2 button again just because i wanted to make sure so i was going to punch again and i just shot the wall <laughs> and i was like okay and then my mission failed because it said oh. you alerted the law and i was like that's what dumb. I know, like games these days are supposed to be more reactive, and so Red Dead itself is reactive. But little things like that, I'm like, just there should have been another way where you don't just have to restart. You know, what's more disturbing with that is how would be shooting something way back then alert the law immediately? Because you could probably go right in front and shoot <laughs> the wall here. Yeah, and there's a fifty fifty chance That's nobody true. even calls That's the true. cops. But also, if you're in the middle of a town, it's usually smaller, and there's usually things going on. I, like, hey, sheriff, you, that guy's shooting again. Can you just be walking step out and be like? Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Sorry, guys. That, My bad. I, just, I shot Sorry. a wall. No harm, no foul. Yeah. Come on. Everyone be like, we've all done it. <laughs> <laughs> we've all done it, buddy. Oh, my God. Yeah, but it's, uh, I, I, that's just the one thing that is – and maybe it's just me. I just keep making mistakes in Red Dead. But I, get, I keep failing missions. I'm like, come on, man. I don't like this. It sounds it's not, difficult. It's not just you. Yeah. As great as it is, it, I've struggled with big-time mistakes that way. Yeah. They're, sometimes they're hilarious, but – Do you know what the best ranking system ever was? What's that? When – uh. Uh, multiplayer Halo came out. Oh, yeah. And you can join clans. Oh, yeah. And I used to always join the lagging clans. <laughs> so I would get the super high ranking and oh brag to my friends. <laughs> nice. That's amazing. Nice. Lagging clans. Like, uh, some of my friends took it so seriously. They're like, how are you level 70? <laughs> it's like, I got skills. I got skills. Hard work and dedication. Try it sometime. Yeah, really? Oh, my God. That's amazing. Sorry I can only talk about Halo hey, listeners. That's all good. Halo's a big game. Well, also, the, I think my favorite memory in gaming. You guys will probably remember this. I think it was when maybe the first Call of Duty or maybe it was Halo came out. But any type of shooter game when you're like in a big lobby with people is that remember all the players just started like humping each other? <laughs> you'd go up to someone, you just crouch, 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 crouch. Oh my yeah. god, like teabagging. teabagging. <laughs> yes, don't you just love humanity. Yeah, yeah you, the gaming does sometimes. We were we were just talking about this before uh, before we came on here. With uh, the frozen horse balls or what? What game is that in? Red, Red Dead Redemption Two. It's like if if humans would put one ounce of the effort they put in to, to making bagging. frozen <laughs> horse balls in a video game, maybe we could do something good with the world. That's, that's a it's very true. wise advice knowledge from Andrew. You should you should appear on more podcasts. Yeah, Let's spread sure. the message, man. <laughs> oh, my God. And but, I will say, as much as the teabagging was fun in Halo, it doesn't go over as well at work. Like, they get so pissed. <laughs> You're work, clearly working at the wrong place, buddy. I get extra days off for it, though. <laughs> well, that's nice. Yeah, Paid or not paid? Uh, uh, let's move on next. <laughs> Can, um, we, can we talk about the greatest thing that happened this week that I was dying, <laughs> literally on the floor, rolling around laughing? Right when you said that, I was getting ready to say, what about Stan Lee? And I was like, oh, back <laughs> oh, it up, back it up. <laughs> I'm glad that time we did. But yeah, rest in peace, Stan Lee. Oh, that, that's, that's sad. So sad. Are you familiar with Stan Lee? Do you know? Yeah. Him? Yeah, he's like the creator of you know, Spider-Man. Like every, so many Marvel superheroes. And he passed away at 95 and stuff. And it's 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 a sad because he was a... Good guy that created some incredible worlds and universes, and he was, he always had little cameos in every Marvel movie and stuff. So he was always because a lot of these creators they kind of fade to the background of the actual characters themselves. But Stan Lee was so a part of Marvel and so a part of everything. So I feel like a lot of people are feeling that a lot more than some of these other guys. 
Did you see uh, the big newspaper that said Spike Lee died with Stan <laughs> oh Lee's my picture? God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> People are so dumb. <laughs> Where was that? What newspaper was that? Let's see. <laughs> oh, my God. That's that's, that's so, so wrong. But no, Stan Lee loved the fans. He loved, he appreciated what oh, he yeah. He appreciated how much people loved it. And, and you don't get that. You get a lot of... Um, People are just like cool with it, but he just embraced it like nobody else did. Oh yeah, it was a uh, a Kiwi newspaper. From no, New, from New Zealand. Oh, my people. That is hilarious. Characters first, superheroes next. Spike Lee dead at ninety. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> Don't you have editors, people? Come on, <laughs> that's really bad. Oh my god, but yeah, that's uh, i I'm, I'm curious to see if <laughs> Avengers Four will be his last cameo, or if he'll appear Spider-Man. in Spider Man. Yeah, if Philip appear in Spider Man Far From Home or the next Black Panther, any of these other movies, or if they do some kind of some kind of nod. I don't know. It'll be uh, interesting. The first one that has a, the in loving memory of Stan Lee and he's not in it's gonna be just sad oh, yeah. to see. Well it's probably gonna be a infinity well, no, I bet you um Captain America will be or not uh, Captain Marvel will probably be because that's the next movie, so they'll probably have something like in memory of Stan Lee. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. I I'm curious if they're gonna put anything in Spider Man, like the PS four game, like a plaque or a statue or add something where you can go I find so. him. That would be really cool. That'd be great. Because they're working, you know, directly with Marvel and all that stuff. He deserves it. How come the guy from Cleveland who was like the famous comic, the one who he invented uh Superman, Superman wasn't it? Yeah. How come he's not well known? Like why is Spike, uh, Spike <laughs> Stan Lee <laughs> and he's not <laughs> what's his name? I don't even know his name. It yeah. was Spike Lee. Look it up, yeah, look it up while we talk about that. But it's it's kinda what I was saying is Especially with the advent of movies and social media and stuff, like Stan Lee is everywhere. I mean, he was in every movie. Everyone looked out for his cameos. He was in video games. He appeared in all that stuff. He was out there talking and just being the face of his characters and brands. So it made it into the general populace. But yeah, a guy like Superman, which was a long time ago and didn't really have all those sharing things. Yeah, I just don't think he had the wasn't out there as much. So people. You know, forget about it. Well, we'll give you a shout out, Jerry Siegel and yeah, that's Joe right. Shuster. That's Schuster. right, Schuster. Yeah, that's right. Fellow Clevelanders, are they still alive? I would. Superman's been around a long time. Yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> See, Jerry, Jerry, is dead. Sorry, oh, Jerry. Jerry. Sorry, Miss Jerry. You. R.I.P. Joe is also gone. Oh man, never forgotten. Sorry, sorry, but yeah, it's, it's it just, but it's so cool, especially these people that create those things that are literally going to live on for forever probably i mean the, their legacy and stuff is gonna is doesn't end with their demise it's uh it's crazy so who is stan lee's most famous character spider-man <laughs> i mean i'd say spider-man but yeah he did iron man <gasps> thor i mean he did all the like pretty much every, fantastic four yeah i mean think batman, of any marvel character batman i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> nice try i was waiting to see if you I, know, I, was like, no, I, I heard that i was like did i hear that correctly <laughs> so if superman and batman swear wait. to me <laughs> <laughs> I, I messed this up. I lied about Batman. If uh, Superman okay. versus Spider Man met in the octagon, who would win? Superman. Superman. That's yeah, because he's not, he's like super god. He just, so does that mean Jerry Siegel's better than Stan Lee? <laughs> I guess that's that's a way to put it. <laughs> Unless Spider Man's got some kryptonite webs, you never know what he's got cooking up there, man. Oh yeah, Spider Man's smart. He so is smarter man. <laughs> Sorry. Sounds like a really boring show. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's always a problem. It's actually interesting you bring that up because that's always a problem with, you know, video games and Superman is because in video games you want to. There's a chance you can obviously die or you can fail, but when you're playing a Superman, you're kind of invincible. <laughs> See, well, that's a difference. Stan Lee made his heroes more human, and they had flaws. They weren't perfect people all the time. Right. They weren't. You know, like they did dumb stuff too. And you know, Spider Man was just a kid, pretty much. And, right. Uh, right. You know, Superman just kind of like untouchable unless you have kryptonite yeah. that's it uh, they've done some interesting things with superman to try and ground him more and stuff like that but yeah it's uh, that's just always been the problem with that character do i just realized you were getting ready to say something really funny that happened and then we we're like oh dead people i was oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah anyway let's talk about the funniest thing that i saw this week so i was watching but my wife always watches good morning america when we wake up and so i was watching and they started not talking. a today show person or was it maybe it is a today show i forget <laughs> yeah, it's well, with hoda which one is that? Today show. Okay, we're watching today show. Sorry, let me get the shout out right. Uh, we we're watching today show, and I started talking about this new Monopoly game <laughs> that is Monopoly for millennials. I'm already laughing. This is it the is the, the game. greatest <laughs> thing, but n- more even more so than it being a game about Monopoly for millennials is that millennials online are writing articles about how stereotypical and offensive it is, <laughs> which is just so 
perfect. Which is the exact reason the game was exactly. made to begin so, with. So let me just set the scene a little bit for it. So in this in this game, Monopoly for Millennials, you're not earning money. You don't earn cash or there's a bank. You earn experiences. Oh. <laughs> and, and why don't you buy properties? You don't buy property because we don't understand real estate. <laughs> <laughs> there's like cheat cards and stuff where you can get one that's like have your parents pay your rent <laughs> you could go you could go to like a vegan bakery or oh, something for <laughs> how do you not just laugh at that i mean come on thing that is fantastic ever. and like and the best thing you know the little like pieces one of them is the little cry emoji that i love using all the time and all these little things and they just it is so good people should be able to take a joke i I'm know sorry. it is so it is amazing. great and the reviews uh, people are either laughing or just so pissed off and the ones that they're pissed off those are even funnier than oh the ones my god laughing. coming I mean, from a just, millennial yeah i probably live in the heart of millennial world in, in the in the short north in columbus if you people don't know what that is <laughs> columbus is a very young hipster city oh yeah i hate my fellow millennials <laughs> <laughs> i was waiting for it oh waiting my gosh it. that's so funny but it's uh i i went i literally went around like to three or four different stores trying to find this to do a live unboxing but i haven't found it yet but if i get because like online that if you try to buy it it's 70 or 80 bucks now or selling on ebay and stuff it's sold out it's just crazy <laughs> but it's just so brilliant it's just so brilliant i love it and i love everything about it and, and you know every game's still going to end like the old monopoly where someone just flips the oh table yeah and exactly like, you win <laughs> Oh my god! Except that on this one, maybe they'll be crying. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you don't earn cash; you earn experiences. I just, I even that's thought amazing. of, I even thought of that because I was at Starbucks this morning. So you know, obviously, I saw a lot of novels being written. And, uh, <laughs> the next great novel. As soon as, you, as soon as you mentioned that board game, that's the first thing I thought of was the people with the earbuds that were like so intent on their keyboards. Yeah, it's like God. inside. What are you working? See, yeah, CNN says Monopoly for Millennials is not about real estate because you can't afford it anyway. It has process. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's awesome. It is so good. So, yeah, if anybody sees that out there, please send it to me because it is the greatest thing ever. Like, can you imagine the guy that went to pitch that? He was like, he's probably like drinking with his buddies. Like, I got an idea. I'm going to pitch it. And they're like, dude, you're going to lose your job. And he's like, nah, I'm going to wear a bow tie. It's going to be sweet when I go in. I'm going to go in there and they're going to love it. And then somebody. Had the balls to go in and pitch that, and they were like, "Yeah, let's make it." That That's person amazing. is literally, it's great. literally my hero. It's amazing. I'm trying to let's see if I can pull up any anything. And I guarantee that guy right now is just laughing. He's probably wearing a blazer and just boxer shorts only, and just drinking right now. Right so, so yes, yeah, so I'm just I pulled up a picture of it. So instead of railroads, the things you buy are bike shares. <laughs> <laughs> the first, the first property is parents' basement. Oh god. <laughs> You know, Wait, where, where, is that like where the Connecticut <laughs> Avenue is and all the shitty properties? Yeah, exactly? yeah. Parents basement and Fred's couch, like the Broadway and uh, the top two ones. The best one is a week long meditation retreat <laughs> and a three day music festival. Oh God! Oh, my oh I God. can already smell the festival. Thrift shop. Um, oh, there actually is in jail, so that's good. Farmers market, vegetable bistro, vegan bistro. Wait, is that the jail? No, there's actually a jail. It should be. <laughs> Yeah, they actually that do have like that. Oh my god, that's just amazing. Yeah, there's so many good stuff on here. I love it. It's I, so good. I want to. I want to buy it for some people. <laughs> as as one of the object. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like objectives to win or something. Like yeah, as one of the ways you win is to scoot by without offending anyone. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I just. Oh my god, I just am so sick of all these people getting offended by everything. The offense, <laughs> what do you always say? It's the. Oh yeah, it's the. Uh, uh, oh my off, god, offended Olympics yeah, or, something. or something. Yeah, it's like who can be the most offended today? <laughs> Let's see what so there's, we can do. There's this guy. Uh, I won't name him, but uh, some Bill sp- Roberts. Some speaker <laughs> came to. <laughs> <laughs> some speaker came to Ohio State this week. It and wasn't me. Nobody's paying me to speak. Exactly. But they... Uh, I pay you here. They were sending out, like, warnings, like, saying, if you need a safe space, if you're uncomfortable, like, <laughs> that we'll die. provide them. It's like, just... How about, here's an idea. Just don't go. <laughs> Seriously. Just, I mean, look, man. I, I, I believe in equality for everybody, but jokes are jokes you can have fun with the differences i can be wheezy or whatever and I, <laughs> but that would that makes me laugh yeah i i don't get why people can't laugh at stuff i mean even like stand-up comedy a lot of the new comics suck yep they suck because the you can't make jokes anymore the ones that don't like the bill burrs and stuff they don't give a shit yeah they just they know it's just for fun. they're not trying to hurt people they're just it's just jokes people need to be able to laugh at themselves and enjoy life <laughs> Just calm the F down. Oh, my God. Sorry. That's my rant for no, today. That's the best. But just know that in a future episode, we will be doing a live unboxing and potentially playing of Monopoly, of yes. Fl- Monopoly for Millennials if I ever find it because it's the greatest thing ever. I would like to join for that one, <laughs> Yes, please. please, please. That'll be part of our Gamers Advocate at night. We'll have to get like oh, a bunch awesome. of games in Monopoly for Millennials. First thing. one to cry loses. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, it's just, oh my God. I it's just, I, it's so funny. Yeah, it's, uh, adulting is hard. You deserve a break from the rat race. <laughs> the player who collects the most experience, not the most money wins. <laughs> it's all about trying, guys. <laughs> oh my God. But, um, it's, it's so good. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Cause that's going to be the hit, the hit game of the year. But, um, there are a couple things that I do want to touch on before we end the show. Two big topics we have to discuss. First, we're going to get to some Game of the Year stuff. And mostly because we have a wonderful email from Adrian. Yay. So we're going to we're gonna go into kind of the Game of the Year nominees and certain things like that. So I'll just set the stage a little bit. Um, Andrew, there's this thing called the Game Awards, which was put on by Jeff Keighley. And it's basically, he's trying to make it like the Oscars or something or Academy Awards where it's a mixture of... Nomin- uh, awards ceremony and of reveals of the next year. So big trailers and big stuff like that. So this past week they released the nominees, which you could go look at and you can actually go vote. If you go to the game awards.com or something, you can go vote for your game of the year. So you can kind of help. Have ID. Yes, <laughs> exactly. You must be a U.S. citizen over 18. Come on. But yeah, it's, um, you do get to choose and make a choice. So we're not going to read obviously every category here, but that's a lot of words. I know there's a lot of them. You can definitely go look, but there's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of esports categories because that's, you know, becoming huge, which I still don't really understand a lot of them, but there's, yeah, but good for them. Yeah. You know, content creator of the year, favorite moment of last year's of last year's show, um, best music, you know, all the like usual categories. Um, but I do want to just touch on game of the year real quick. So the choices for 2017 game of the year, sorry, 2018 game of the year <laughs> are Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Celeste, which is, I, I'm, that's, that's pretty cool. It's Celeste is on there, an indie game, God of War, which I know Bill hates Marvel, Spider-Man, Boy. Ghost Stanley or Spike Lee, whichever you have it, Monster Hunter World and Red Dead Redemption 2. My vote is in. What is it? What is it? Monster Hunter. Yeah. Dude, that game's so good. I don't know what it is, but it sounds <laughs> awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, that's those are the nominees for Game of the Year. And I think when Jack's back, we might break down the rest of the categories. And we're going to have our own show of Game of the Year. Where, where I, I was I was kind of thinking the best way to do it. Like we each pick our top five and then we come to a consensus top five or something. That could be kind of cool. For Thanksgiving, can we, can we do the biggest turkey games of the year? Oh, we have to do that like Monday or Tuesday probably. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. Welcome hmm. back to the game. Yeah, Advocate. we're doing it again. <laughs> we'll just do two of them right now. Yeah, really. But um, call so, Jack. Yeah, well, hey, hi guys, it's Jack. My head's shiny. Um, so Andrew, what is <laughs> so Andrew's bugs. Andrew's game of the year is Monster Hunter World of this list or Donut had, County, if, whatever that is. That game is really good. You can download iOS. It's like this raccoon is controlling this hole that keeps getting bigger and sucks Obviously. in all of the buildings and people. Yeah, just look it up. Yeah, so Donut County. Just like it sounds. He's, he's trying to get a yeah. drone and stuff, and you know, cause terror. And things, so it has so. nothing to do with donuts. No. Well, no, he's, it has he a says, lot to do with mushrooms. People, apparently. so basically, what happens is people order donuts, and then instead of getting donuts, a, a, a remote controlled hole comes to their area and just sucks in everything to a massive hole. <laughs> Look it up; it's really fun. It's on iOS and PlayStation, and other stuff. Anyway, game of the year, man. I, uh, if it's, you had to choose right now, uh, it's tougher than I and, thought it and would and be. You're not, you're not, you're not beholden to this. It'll change, but if you had to choose at this moment, what would your game of the year be i'm torn between god of war and red dead and assassin's creed assassin's creed's really good that's it really the, is that's the game where you get to where you're like a descendant of leonidas andrew oh really yeah, yeah, you, you get to spur to kick the shit out There's of literally a move. Awesome. you're like a move is the spartan kick it's, it's amazing it's f- so fun but man i'd have to say see it's not fair because i haven't i played all of god of war right. I've, i'm just still just scratching the surface on red dead yeah that's why I said you're not beholden to it, but just top of the head. If you had to pick right now, or I'm going to shoot your face. I'd have to say God of War. I might have to agree. What's that? <laughs> Kratos, boy. It was the games on PlayStation. It's like you're a Greek god, and you're going around destroying gods and stuff. It's super big set pieces. of. It used to be in Greece, and now he's kind of in Norse mythology now. And it's uh, That's awesome. With Orden. Uh, Orden. Leaf Orden. 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 <laughs> Orden. Odin and Thor and Loki and all these people. <laughs> Orden's in West Virginia. That's fall. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's that's very true. But yeah, I, it's, a, it's a good list. But I take a lot of problem with this, which is something we have to talk about. How can you have a Game of the Year award without Smash Brothers? It's not out yet. I know. But it's still in 2018. Hey, that's their fault for putting it out in December. No, it's not. It's Game Awards' fault for not having it in like January no, or February. It should. It should be. 
It should be considered for next year then, though. No. Yeah, well, no, it, it definitely it, will be considered for next year. But I just, it feels like it's this year. That's, I just, I just, I don't know. It's, what, it seems the, really crazy. What's the date of the awards, though? Isn't it the, it's the December day before. 7th? Yeah. It, well, no, December 6th is the game awards. Seventh is Smash Brothers. Maybe they'll get a lot of last second right in votes. Yeah. Well, I think, I think they're going to have, well, they're not eligible for voting. I think they're going to have, uh, pro- you know, they'll have some big reveals and I'm sure it'll be a part of, they'll probably talk about the DLC and certain things like that. But it's, uh, I don't know. I just feel very weird that Smash is, is not a part of this. It just feels strange. Like, the year's not over yet. I mean, I, I just because 4 is coming out, not that that may make it or whatever, and there's other games that it it's not quite there yet. Is and that the one where you, like, push people off of ledges? What? Smash Bros? Uh, sort of. It's with, like the, all the Nintendo characters and coming like, jumping and around and yeah. pushing people uh-huh. off yeah, of yeah, that yeah. little ledge. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I hate that, that, that game. Oh, what? It's the best game ever. It doesn't make any sense. You just keep falling off and going, wee. <laughs> That's exactly. That's a very good description. That's how I describe the game too. <laughs> by the way, it's exactly it. A couple it. inches ago, we. Yeah, this game is. Oh my god, it's just going to be so good. That's that's. It's just. I get that they need to. There needs to be a balance between having the awards, and there has to be a cutoff, obviously. And they also want to ha- prepare it's for December. next year and stuff like that. So no, it was like this week, I think, or oh, last week. Well, it's before. It's yeah, Smash it's like Brothers. middle of November. So I don't know. I just I feel weird about a game awards without Smash. So I have a question to, yeah. to wrap this up. From a non-gamer, what would you say is the worst flop of the year? Who? The worst flop of Agony. the year. <laughs> Agony. Um, hmm. That was supposed to be like the next great horror game. and it was Oh, like that was actually a thing? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just saying Agony. No. What, what was that for? Like PC or something? No, it was, it was on the consoles too. Huh. It was a horror game You where you're trying to get out of hell. Yeah. And it was like hyped up that there was going to be this great. How do you not know this? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You've got me. You've stumped me, man. All right. The so, greatest flop. That's the first thing that came to mind. I don't know if that's really the greatest, though. Hmm. Since you didn't apparently even know about it, it I can't know, be that really. good. Yeah, seriously. That's that's a really good question. It's been a pretty good year. Like, it's... There's a lot of things... Thanks. Agony. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. It looks... It, like, the... looks fantastic, but... Let's see. What did it, IGN give it? A four. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. Okay, well, it may, it's not necessarily a game... I don't, can I say that my the biggest flop moment, the bit like the worst moment in gaming? You may. <laughs> is when PlayStation decide to not allow crossplay for Fortnite and uh, during E3 and there was a whole I mean they've they've since fixed it, but I thought that was one of the stupidest moves and it just was such a shame especially cuz I couldn't play my character and it was just such a a move from someone who's on the top of the mountain and thinks they're so cool and untouchable and then everyone was like, "Dude, you got to you can't do it like this." That, that would have to be one of my like biggest moments where I was just like, oh, man. I know what the biggest moment is. What's that? Fortnite itself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just wanted to see if people were like, turn it off. Turn it off. Stop the turn podcast. It off, turn it off. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a good question. I'll have to think about like the game. But it's been – we're, um, we're at a really good point in games where there's so many coming out where the, the flops don't really rise to the top as much anymore because the games are of such usually high quality. It's usually – the flops are things getting delayed or, or weird things happening or, or things like that. Oh, I know one that's that's bad. I haven't played it, but it looks awful. Is Overkill's Walking Dead. Oh, it, yeah. It looks that like looks an awful. unfinished mess, and they yeah. took all this extra time, and that's what they came out with. And there's no voice chat in a co-op game that's online co-op? Yeah, that is, that's bizarre. <laughs> I, I saw that. I think, yeah, I forget Agony. Yeah. Because the true agony is... Every time you say agony, I just think you're talking about you're in agony. <laughs> it's like, I don't like this. My brain is like, what is he talking It's about? been a rough month. Oh, my God. But I do want to jump into good old Adrian's question, which we yes. kind of answered a little bit right now, so I probably could have read this before, but you know, that's how conversations go. We but, do a lot of stuff. Uh, this is this is the lovely Adrian who's been a really awesome fan and friend of the show and everything, and he says, what's up, guys? I listen to Interact a lot on Twitter, but finally writing in with my first question. As I assume you guys will be talking about the Game of Game Awards nominees, my question ties in. Given what you have played so far, what do you think will win Game of the Year? Which we've answered, so there you go, Adrian. Wait, Next, We actually... What I think will win is Red Dead 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a fair question. Yeah, I, th- I think that's probably... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I think that's true, but I also think that I'm hearing a lot more 100% praise for God of War, and I hear a lot more issues about Red Dead. If, do you know what I'm saying? Which is valid, but... 
I, like, I think, think people like that God of War is a very contained story. Everything is so purposeful, and I feel like Red Dead. Some people get put off by it and certain things like that. So I don't know. I think it's going to be a it's going to be a very interesting battle. I think the hype will push it over the top. That's uh, yeah. my guess. And but I think I, especially I if shocked. other if I, th- I think if the general populace obviously they're voting, I think that may push it over because I think it does have a little bit more appeal for people. Plus, it's not just on PlayStation, so it's not going to be Celeste. No, but that's like, pretty cool. They got nominated. It's, it's that's cool. a good game. It's a really good game. But I don't, but it's not going to win. No. Neither is Assassin's um, Creed. Adrian continues. Should there be a difference between best game of the year and your favorite game of the year? Yes. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> That's a great question, by the way. Yeah. That because it's very different at yeah. times. Because I because I guess how would you really quantify that? Would you have it be where people vote for their favorite game of the year and then critics and other people vote for the best game of the year? Do you just have people vote? both of them because there's a lot of different ways you can go with it that I think it might muddy the water a little bit but I don't know it's I'm curious about that because if I if I had to do two I probably would put um God of War is the best game of the year and then my favorite game might come down to give me a little bit more time with them both but Assassin's Creed and uh Red Dead yeah or NCAA 14 still <laughs> well of course oh my god yeah I that's... still play that the most so whatever yeah but I, I think that's and a... Civ yeah. shit but you know, it's it's kind of in a sense. This question is getting into the millennial side of things, where everyone should win, right? <laughs> everyone gets a everyone trophy. gets a prize. Everyone should get a prize. No, but man, if, you're, if you're even nominated, you're you're a good game. Oh yeah, for sure. There's I mean, I think no get, getting the nomination is it's not quite winning, but it's it's just as good. That's a it's a very good achievement to have something like that. Do you want to run through a couple of the bigger categories, um, or do you want to hold off on that? Too? We might hold. We might hold, we can discuss we'll probably that next be week with Jack and recording kind of in a things. few days again. Anyways, so. yeah, that's true because because there's a he also asks. Um, are there any games that you played this year that should have been nominated for something but were snubbed? Ooh. I don't remember what I did two weeks ago. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my God. I don't remember how to get home. Um, let me think. Let me think on that a minute. Yeah, that's uh, it's, that's definitely a good question. And You know, maybe we could bring that into next week if De- you'd want to. I was going to say Detroit, and then I saw it nominated. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. But, yeah, it's, uh, there's so many, so many good choices. Smash Brothers got snubbed. God damn it. <laughs> um oh man good games that got that didn't get nominated i think we, let's hold that off till next week when jack's back okay let's because that great we'll, question we'll, we'll kinda, cause, i want to think on that though yeah because we're kind of we're going we're getting we're a little over an hour right now and there's one other topic i want to touch on so we're going to break this question off into two parts but stay tuned for next week to find out our thoughts on some of the other categories and things like that we just can't forget though yeah for sometimes sure. sometimes we're like because we were gonna do office trivia two weeks ago and <laughs> yeah i know some jerk had to way go to go hospital. jack and of course lastly he, he has to put in i'm saints i'm a saints and chiefs fan one was my favorite growing up and the other was my hometown team in high school and i'm both terrified and excited for a potential saints versus Chiefs super bowl Ooh. that would be pretty crazy um, Dude, Patrick Mahomes is insane. I'm gonna tell you right now, though, if that happens, Drew Brees is taking that title. We're the we're, we're the real winners, though, because we got John Dorsey. That's true. <laughs> that is very true. Who used to be on the, with the Chiefs? He built that Chiefs team, and now he's with the Brownies. So America's <laughs> America's team, Bill. Yeah, it's uh, it's, <laughs> oh, it's yeah? amazing. Well, my team's gonna go eight and eight, like always. <laughs> Good old Cowboys. <laughs> and they'll get a middle of the road. Oh wait, they don't even get a first round draft pick. But as I say, they get middle of the road draft picks, and they're not gonna get any better. Way and to Jerry go. Jones will talk about how great Jason Garrett really. Are they is. ever gonna get rid of him? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> He's our Hugh Jackson at this point. I mean, really, it's just. Do you guys want Hugh Jackson? No one. No, is no. Hugh Jackson. I'll keep Jason Garrett. I'll keep Jason Garrett. <laughs> Oh but uh, but Adrian, as far as Chiefs Saints, I hate to say it, I think that Saints would win just because they do have a better defense. Michael yeah. Thomas, Michael yeah. Thomas, baby, yeah, and they've you know been there before a little bit. You but can they, say shoot, but, how many Buckeyes do they have? Michael Thomas, Eli Apple, Von basically Bell, basically the Buckeyes. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, seriously, Marshawn Lattimore, Ted Ginn. I mean, that's just um, on the Saints. Don't forget uh, what's uh, uh, J T Barrett it's on the practice squad. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah. Is he still there? I thought they let him go. Yeah, I, I, think, I don't know. I think, I think he was. I think I looked recently. this up a few months ago that he was, or a few weeks ago that he was still He's there. He's not a pro quarterback, but um, he might be a good coach. And, and he also asked, lastly, how many brown, how many wins will the Browns have at the end of the year? How many more games do you think they'll win? Five, total. Five more wins? No, five total. <laughs> That's two more wins out of what? Six more games? Something like that. We're in, yeah, we're in week ten, right? Right, week ten or eleven? Yeah, I think ten. Yeah. No, eleven. Eleven. But you've had the bye week, so ten technically. This is our bye week. So oh we yeah. Well, you're games. down by three. <laughs> Going into the we lost a quarter. fortnight last week, according to you. So, yeah, yeah. So, I have an answer and then a question. All right. I think the Browns are going to finish. I think they're going to win. Oh, you get the Bengals twice. Three out of the six remaining games. All right. 
I'd like to change mine to three too because you got the Bengals twice. I think those are both winnable. Who are we going to beat? We're going to beat the Bengals twice. Okay. Yep, for sure. Fifty-four to ten, please. And the Broncos. All right. And who are we losing to? Everyone else. Who are the, who are the other? <laughs> oh, who are the other three teams? I can't remember. The Ravens. Off my head. Uh, you got the Ravens again. <laughs> yeah, we'll lose against the Ravens. I bet because that's on the road. Gotcha. Um, and we got the Panthers. Probably that's going to be a tough one. Yeah, yeah. But my question, I guess, to you, Adrian, is if you were restarting a team, would you pick Michael Thomas or Tyreek Hill? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you can only choose one. Oh, man. Ooh, that's man. a good question. Oh, that's – I'd have to go Michael Thomas just because I'm a Buckeyes well, fan. I, yeah. You know, as it's an high state bias. guy, you know, it's, it's hard not to. Oh, that's tough. I might say Michael Thomas. Do you ever though. watch Michael Thomas play and think, man, we did not utilize him enough at Ohio State? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do. That dude is a monster. That guy had so much more time. I mean, he was good here. It was great here. Yeah. But, but man, imagine Dwayne Haskins throwing to Michael oh. Thomas. <laughs> Can you, just, I mean, yeah. he'd still be running. Yeah. He'd still be wearing a high State a helmet full of stickers, oh just running. I love you, JT, but he wasn't the, the greatest no, of our, no. even though his, his stats are unbelievable. No, I'm I, hey, not, nothing but love for him. But yeah. no, as far as a passer, duh, no, he's no Drew Brees. No, yeah, or Dwayne, man, but or I, man, Mahomes. I, I would just love a Chief Saints Super Bowl because I feel like it'd be a little different, and I feel like it'd be a shootout, and that would be so much fun to watch. I would see. That would yeah, be awesome. see anybody knock the Patriots out of a playing if in I the have, Super Bowl. If dude, I'm starting, are, to, I'm starting Baker Mayfield over Tom Brady in my fantasy league. If that says anything, and it's actually working out pretty well. I, I could see it. <laughs> I'm going to revisit my answer. Okay. So now I'm actually looking at the schedule. I'm going to go game by game. Here we go. I think, th- and this is also coming from a stupid Browns fan. Keep in mind. <laughs> I do think we can beat the Bengals. Optimistic Browns fan. I do think we can beat the Texans. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that's, that's That could go either way. Yeah. Panthers probably lose. So I'm gonna, we're 2-1. and one. Win against the Broncos. And the last two is a throw up. So I might say four out of hey. six wins. I'm I saying would, six out like of six, and we'll it. make the Super Bowl. That's my that's maybe my we'll prediction. S- we'll slide right into that wild card spot. Slide into those DMs. I would love to see it. You know, I like to mess with you about it, but <laughs> I, I, you know, they as have, a Cowboys fan living in Ohio, I still, you know, I want to see the Browns do well. Yeah, I don't it would be really, really cool care about the Bengals. Yeah, freaking Bengals. I, I like I said, I seriously think it may be worse to be a Bengals fan because they've been almost so good for so long. Well, we've just been terrible, but they're like, oh, my God, we're going to be in the playoffs today, and then they lose. And it's just that year after year. It's That's that's tough. That is real tough. I don't know, but it's uh, – I'm, I'm, I, yeah, like I said, I, I think six wins. That's but you, guaranteed. But I see improvement with the Browns. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, with the Cowboys a couple years ago, great offense, couldn't stop anybody. Now it's the other way around. The defense is actually pretty good. Yeah. And they have a quarterback that can't throw up more than 10 yards. That's Yeah, that's also true. He's or he holds onto the ball for four weeks. He <laughs> He's hit. still holding onto the ball. Oh my god! But you know, I we are at an hour and six minutes, but we do have to hit one more topic. Yay! One more. PlayStation is not going to E3 2019. Does that mean you're not going to E3 2019? <laughs> well, as it remains to be seen, but that, that's a that's a big bomb. That's a big bomb that was dropped this past week, and it was. Uh, for 24 years, they've been a part of E3. That's uh, since the beginning, and they've announced that not only are they not going to be around it, but from what their comments were saying, is they're not even really going to have stuff around E3. Because Xbox, they kind of pulled out a little bit of E3 proper. Like they had the mixer booth and certain things, but they had an off-site event where they had people come and go check out all their things. And EA's, you know, gone out of E3 and they host a, a thing that was in uh, the Palladium, I think, in Hollywood. And they're so it's it's a trend that's been happening, but. That's a big loss for E3. I get it. I get I, yeah, I mean, I, I get it too. I get, the, I get it too. As a fan of the conference and looking forward to it every year, it bums me out. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't like and that. And here's the, the thing that I think about is, first of all, why I think this is happening is with the advent of, you know, social media and YouTube and, and like all these companies can do all this stuff themselves. They don't need uh, an actual platform that they have to pay a ton of money for to announce things when they can just do it themselves. Like they can have, a, like you know, they didn't have PSX this year. That next year they can have some massive PSX style event where they could reveal the PS5 potentially and control the whole message and not have to share the front page of IGN and all these other places with all these other companies and stuff. So I think it's, I, 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 I get it's sad. It's very sad. E3 is dying, isn't it? It, I mean, it's, it's, it kind of is, which is sad because it's always been. 
I mean, I'm, I'm very fortunate that I was able to go the past two years and still kind of be there when it's still like it started, it started the trend downward, but there were still big events and big things. And, you know, I think it'll still be really good, but you have to think when E3 started, it was meant to be an industry event. It was meant to be bring in all, you know, GameStop and Toys R Us and all these companies and all these developers to come in and see the future of games so they can say, what do we want to put in our stores? What, what are we excited for? What are the investors going to be doing things? But you don't need to have an event like that to show people stuff. You have trailers you can put out on Twitter and it'll get millions of views and things like that. So the industry is changing and I get why things are changing. But on the other hand, it's very sad because that's usually, you know, the biggest goal, especially if, you know, budding games journalists and people in the industry, people growing up is to get to E3, to be in that, be in the audience with hundreds of your fellow fans of gaming and experience as the lights go down and the press conferences start. It's, that is something truly special that I, that I do feel bad that some people won't get to experience in that sense. There'll still be other things and ways to experience it, but it's, uh, it's, it's sad. It is sad. See, I like the idea of going from, I mean, I get why they want to do their own thing. Yeah. Where it's all it focuses on them for sure. But I love go- seeing the Xbox press conference and then seeing the PS4 yeah, press right. conference oh, sure. and then seeing Ubisoft or Ubisoft, Ubisoft, <laughs> Ubisoft, and you know, and just seeing all the Bethesda come out. It's and like do their yeah, thing. it's it's like the Super Bowl of games. It's yeah. just it's the greatest day. But yeah, but once again, on the flip side, from a business perspective, why do should I share my news with a ton of other companies? Right, because then the, yeah, it can get buried. Yeah, exactly. So. And, I just, I don't know, I would love to see, you know, they, they started letting public into E3, and I still think they'll be, I think still think E3 will be a big place where some of the smaller developers and even bigger developers will have good announcements and be able to be a part of it and take over the show to make things exciting, but it's just a very interesting trend, I don't know. It bums me out, like I said, I get it, totally yeah. get it from the business side, as a fan, it's kind of a bummer. And it's funny, because, you know, Phil Spencer of Xbox, <laughs> you know, the head of Xbox, <laughs> already announced, like, hey, I'll see you guys at E3, we're excited yeah. to show you stuff, so, and Nintendo's still going to be there, which, thank God, because, you know, that that's still something to look forward to, because Nintendo, while they don't have a press proper press conference, they their booth is always amazing. I mean, two, two years ago when I went, they made their booth into New Donk City from Super Mario Odyssey, and with the music and little secrets around the booth and stuff, I mean, that was amazing. That was like a dream come true. Do you think there's any chance Nintendo might make a bigger presence knowing Sony's not going to be there? Potentially, yeah, but I don't think they'll go back to the press conferences or things, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do, because last year, actually, Nintendo and PlayStation's booths were right next to each other, so it'll be interesting to see what because they had a huge space. I mean, a ton of Spider-Man consoles, a giant stage. But it was actually interesting, though, because now that I think about it, when I was at PlayStation, the booth itself, there wasn't as much there. I mean, there were stations, but it was a lot of big open space where, and a stage where people were presenting and stuff like that. So I could, I, I kind of get, once again, get the decision. You could kind of see it if you really look at it from a different side. So, yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, it, it is. But it's, I, I, like I said, I, it's, that doesn't mean we're not going to get anything amazing from PlayStation. Like We'll still get all the amazing news. It'll just be at a different time at a different place. That, Like I said, I, I, I'm hoping they really have an amazing PSX type event next year for all their fans. Because I know a lot of people are very pissed that um, PSX wasn't, didn't happen this year. But they just didn't have as many announcements. And they're preparing for a megaton drop next year is what I think. Yeah, I hope so. And we can't end it on bummer, so hey, everybody, Spike Lee's still alive. <laughs> Congratulations, Spike Lee. Oh, my God. Tweet from the Onion. Kid diving into pile of leaves has no idea. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was waiting for him to finish reading it. I had to stop. <laughs> oh, my God. So look on the Onion Twitter account, everyone. It's wonderful. <laughs> Oh God bless you! Onion. Oh my God, we'll leave. We'll leave that. We'll leave. End on that note. A little mystery for our fans out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just say, um, go on the Onion and look for an article about kid jumping in the leaves. Yeah, y'all, y'all understand. It's it's wonderful. <laughs> oh my God, but I uh, I do have to say, Andrew, it's been a pleasure having you today. Yeah, thank thanks you for guys for in, having man. me. I know, I'm excited. To hopefully, get you on another time, and we'll do the late night edition. Yeah, exactly. And you know, Andrew's been talking about starting his own podcast or like a history themed one, or maybe doing we doing like another sports or you know news general thing that could be pretty awesome. I would but, be all for it. Yeah, because I, I think it. it's 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 just fun. It's just got friends hanging out talking about stuff we love. Like that's why that's why Bill and Jack and I started this again. Is you know obviously it, we want to get listeners and it'd be great to have interaction do all that stuff but at the end of the day we don't see each other as much so just getting to be able to hang out for an hour or so is just it's it's a highlight of the week it really is i do think the drinking uh monopoly podcast oh my god we're drinking playing anything <laughs> yeah like really it could be Seriously. diablo could be whatever that'll be it glorious needs to happen it will but um yeah it's uh 
it, it's awesome. But we really, truly appreciate all of you guys listening and being a part of the show. And if you want, if you want to send in your questions like Adrian or comments, send them to podcast at thegamersadvocate.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Adam Bankhurst. You can follow Bill at the Smoothzilla. Andrew, do you have anything you would like to shout out to anybody? Um, you can follow me if you want. You're not going to find anything fun, but it's <laughs> at a Banky one. Let me tell you, Andrew is a very good tweeter. He says yeah. he has some very good comments and topical. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh Silence. my God! How dare you! Oh my God! It was best when Hugh Jackson was still coach, though. <laughs> yes. Just after every, time, every game, he was like, I'm "Fire Hugh! Fire Hugh! Fire Hugh! Yep, fire you!" <laughs> That's so good. But yeah, you can also follow me on IGN and read all my articles and all this stuff. I, I actually wrote the story about the PS4 or PlayStation not being at E3. So that was crazy. We were like, a whole team was in Slack. Like, oh my God, oh my God. So it's, it's cool to be a part of those events. And I'm glad you like got that. that article. You did a good job with it. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's, it's always fun when news breaks because everyone's like freaking out. Like, what is going on? What does this mean? Oh my God. So yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. And you know, next week is Thanksgiving, but we will hopefully, you know, we will still have a show, I, I would think. It just... We'll have to. De- we're going to discuss when that's going to happen, but it can't happen next Saturday at noon because that's Ohio State, Michigan. That's right. It's probably going to be either Monday or Tuesday, maybe something Hope like so. that. Anyway, or Wednesday. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, thank you all. We love you, and we hope you have an amazing day and or night. And we will see you next week. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.